Greetings everybody. Well, I finally pulled the trigger. I bought a PRS SC Santana. This is a 2017, the one with the signature on it, from Sweetwater about a month ago. Now, the story behind this guitar is the fact that it's a naturally built right-handed guitar and um, I had to convert it to a lefty because I am a left-handed player by force. Um, I was really hesitant to purchase a guitar because I've converted um, righties to lefties in the past and the results are, unless it's uh, symmetrical, not very, um, it, it's, it's not a very well result, good result. But I have to say, <clears throat> this guitar actually turned out pretty good. And so in this video, I'm just going to show you the uh, functionality of it. It's, I'm not going to play the guitar. That will probably be another video. But if you're a left-handed player and you're thinking about purchasing this product, I would say go ahead and do so. And then uh, explain to you a couple of mods I've done. Um, essentially, if you don't want to do any mods to this particular guitar uh, once you purchase it or you want to do very minimal the only thing I would suggest would be the nut and I purchased an original Paul Reed Smith nut and uh, obviously once your strings are in just uh, go ahead and set the intonation but uh, I went a little bit crazy on this guitar because that's kinda how I like um, doing things um, I have other guitars and sometimes there's things I replace that are cheap and then there's things I replace that are expensive and so we'll start with that I bought a pair of uh, Seth Lover pickups from Seymour Duncan um, pretty expensive pickups however I have other guitars I want to try these on in the future so this has a dual these pickups have a dual purpose for it um, Switchcraft uh, three-way toggle uh, CTS pot and uh, orange drop uh, 22 uh, UF capacitor and uh, let's see uh, strap locks as you can see I put I had to put one on this horn right here because obviously now it's it's switched around and then over here I just added a little uh, pickup screw I had laying around um, let's see, um, when this guitar came in, I took the strings off, and I noticed the frets were pretty well polished, so I really didn't want to go crazy on that. I just, uh, oiled the fretboard a little bit, wiped it off real quick, and then added a fresh new pair of, uh, Diodario 9s. Um, it's what's worked for me. I'm, I'm not vouching for those strings. It's just what's, what's worked for me in the past, and, I mean, they're probably not the greatest, but they do a pretty good job. Like I said, uh, an original, uh, Paul Reed Smith nut. And uh, Grover self-locking tuners. A lot of people have a problem with the high E on this one. And I found um, that if you loop the string uh, twice over inside the little uh, eyelet, you're going to be just fine. I broke two strings trying to make this work until I went to a forum. And one guy said, yeah, just run the string uh, twice on the hole and then you should be fine. And then after that, it works pretty good stretch the strings out and I mean it stays in tune pretty well pretty much as good as any guitar I own and I try working on all my guitars and try to dial them in as much as I can the guitar came with this very nice gig bag which I probably won't use because I mostly do uh, home playing and just jam here and there and uh, let's see the back of this guitar at the back of those Grovers right there um, there's a little recess right there on the heel looks pretty nice the back plate is over the wood the cover plate um, for the electronics is actually recessed into the wood and by the way those pots um, I did have to uh, remount the holes because the diameter on the CTS's are, are greater. Um, I have a reamer in here somewhere and that's what I used. I love it. It's it's very accurate. But if not, I mean you can use a Dremel tool and go slow. 
Um, these uh, growers, these are the 406C, I believe. They just fit right in. And I actually thought about buying the Phase 3 locking tuners. And I'm sure they're just as good, if not better. And I should actually say they're probably better because Paul Reed Smith is kind of nutty about his products. And it shows. It's a great product. But um, that 14 to 1 gear ratio, I'm not so sure about that. And those right there are 18 to 1. So anyways, I'll probably do a video on how this thing plays. But considering it's really hard for left-handed players to... You know, get a hold of guitars. Uh, for every 100 right-handed guitars, there's going to be one left-handed. And just walk into a guitar center, you'll see what I mean. Um, and so the the purpose of this video is just the functionality of it, just to let you know that if you know you flip this guitar around, it will work for you. It is a little bit neck-heavy, but that's nothing. A high-quality leather strap will that will alleviate. So, I mean. Yeah, if you're a lefty and you're you have your doubts about this guitar, just go ahead. Uh, put the strap lock on the uh, bottom horn so it works for you. Flip the strings around. File this little guy right here so you don't have so that you won't have a problem tuning. And uh, that's it. Sitting down, this does become a little bit of an issue. However, standing up, it's a non-issue. It's it pretty much the way I play. It's it's out of the way for me. Um, I'm actually considering putting those controls over here. I mean, this is not an actual Paul Reed Smith guitar, so I don't think value-wise it's going to affect it, but I'm, I'm still debating it. I'm still thinking about it, and if I do, and if I end up routing it out, I will do a video on this. But, uh, yeah, PRS Santana, lefties, welcome. Just go ahead, a couple of mods, and you will have yourself a fine, fine instrument. See ya.